There's a new Destiny 2 trailer. Are you serious? All wishes come at a cost. <laughs> All wishes come at a cost. <laughs> All right, that was a very short trailer. Now I'm going to show you a magic trick. How are we going to turn a 10 second trailer? Really, only eight seconds into 10 and a half minutes. Right here, we have a guardian running. You may be wondering where. And that's what I'm wondering too, because you see right there in front of you, it looks like a portal. <laughs> where does this portal go? What does this portal even do? <laughs> Bundy, did you have to did you have to lay off everybody that made trailers? Bundy did get rid of people that I, I think worked on their trailers and stuff, which is terrible. I mean, part of the reason many of us got hyped was because of the trailers. Like, two things that Bungie gets right every year. Music and trailers. It's a teaser trailer, not a full trailer. That's right. I'm not going to judge yet. We're going to be getting a full trailer, hopefully soon, and then we'll see. Wait, which trailers were good? Oh, my God. We've had so many good trailers. You remember the Lightfall trailer? Everybody at comes in here and acts like, oh, I saw that that was not going to be a good expansion. You're full of shit. I remember the day we watched Lightfall. Everyone in here was like, scrambling for the walls it's like I take my firstborn best trailer i've ever seen oh my lord this is gonna be the greatest expansion ever it's a good trailer destiny's got some great trailers man they do you know does things play out the way that we want it to play out nope not always the wish wall has different codes in the trailer all wishes come at a call i know guys Riven of a thousand voices the last known there, Ahamkara. There, there's a new symbol. She has been taken. The, ri the Riven symbol, which makes me believe we're not going to be able to do this until next season. But look, look, look. I'm going to go here. I'm going to put this shit in. I mean, dude, nothing's probably going to happen. I mean, I'm almost like 99.99999% sure nothing's going to happen. But, you know. Instead of a new dungeon next season, we might just get Shadow Throne 2.0. Stop. Stop that. Dude, do you know how bad this this community would riot if Bungie gave us Shadow Throne 2.0? I don't. Did I put this code in last week? I bet you just put that code in on a new mission. Probably. That's it. You season the wish launches November 28th today. A teaser treasure. For Season of the Witch, Destiny 2's upcoming season was released. Last week, players solved the final in-game puzzle of the Embaru engine, a series of tests created by the Witch Queen Savathun, which revealed a hidden egg of Riven, an Amkara Witch Dragon. During Season of the Witch, launching on November 28th, Guardians will return to the Dreaming City, where they will discover new activities, gear, and secrets. Now, Season of the Witch is the final season for Destiny 2, before the final shape expansion launches on February the 27th, 2024 with all new episodes to follow. In the final shape, Guardians will face off against the Witness for an epic conclusion to the Light and Darkness Saga. Guys, this is directly from Bungie.net. This was this was thrown in today. This is their press release. Mm, you think they're waiting to change that? I think they kind of had to drop a press release today and they're like, we're not ready to announce it. I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Let me go here to the final shape. So this is the page that you go to pre-order. Let me scroll down because it shows the release date down here, right? So it says at the bottom of the final shape, it says dates and content subject to change. It shows February 27, 2024 still. But again, at the bottom, just saying at the very, very bottom, there's, there's the five print dates and content subject to change. Now I'm surprised by this because I figured with everything coming out that there was going to be a delay to June that Bungie would just like say something like the final shape expansion launches in 2024, right? Let's give us specifics, which it says 2024. Chat, let me ask y'all. Do you think Destiny 2, the final shape, will in fact be delayed? Yes or no? Can we get a poll on this? They cannot f*** up. Here's the thing. If the final shape releases in the same level of Witch Queen and Lightfall, that expansion is a failure. Like I feel like it needs to be forsaken side of an expansion. Witch Queen was good. Besides the story and the raid, what else was good from which the activities were ass, the weapons were kind of meh, the throne world is not as cool as, let's be real, 
some of the other locations. Crafting was literally half-baked. Void 3.0 ruined PvP. Was it great in PvE? Yes, it was, but it's not like a new subclass. Okay, chat, would you rather have a Forsaken size or a Witch Queen size expansion? Forsaken? Okay, then. Clear. Thank you very much. Which final shape as the final expansion has to be Forsaken size. It cannot be Witch Queen size. Don't get me wrong, Witch Queen's story is the best right. story Bungie's told. That is... <laughs> and Rolk is arguably the best fight we've ever had for a raid. Besides Riven, I guess. What would you say Cross is better, Rolk or Riven? That's tough, dude. Riven was fantastic mechanics, but Rolk was just so unique. Rolk was the first type of boss we ever had like that. You know what I mean? Like, that was so, was so action-packed. He was so poised. We, we were, like, right there on top of him, right? It wasn't just some, like, enemy we shot in the distance. You know, it, and with a mm -hmm. white mechanic, like it was, we we were we were in a fight, dude. It felt like yeah. we were in a fight. Mm -hmm. Especially I, day one, like you get stomped, you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> so 81% said that yes, they believe that the final shape is going to be delayed. I I would think so too. I mean, that's what everything's being said internally. I'm just surprised that nothing's been said, about, or or at least the dates haven't been just kind of vague. Again, Bungie's not saying 2024 on things. Chris, can I ask you a question? Yes. And I want you to be completely honest. Would you be satisfied if the final shape was the same size of an expansion as Witch Queen? Les, you got a hard on for Witch Queen and like not a good one. Not a good hard on. You like, you don't. Because I think, I think that DLC is overrated. I really do. I think the DLC is overrated. It, it, it is not on the level of Forsaken and Taken King in my eyes. But we're putting it in that category. A lot of people are putting it in that category. I think the Witch Queen clears the Taken King. Really? Yep. Yep. <sighs> Do you remember what we got in Taken King? I do, Les. I did an entire video on Destiny 1. What really, like, oh, the entire history of Destiny 1. See, everyone here is thinking like a Destiny 1 player, okay? You're thinking like a D1 player. I'm hard on Witch Queen because I did go, not like the go game play play Cordo, Go play Cordo Oryx right now. Tell me how much fun you have. Okay, go play fucking, what was the six-man activity? Tell me how much fun you're having with that. Keep in mind, keep in mind, hold up. When you talk about Witch Queen, you got to talk about everything that happened that entire okay, year. Okay, let's talk about it. You have to talk, talk about, about everything that happened. Year? The okay, whole year. No, 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 no. Because Taken King, we didn't get shit until the April update. And even that was like just you know something. Just a bare, <laughs> bare minimum something. Okay, yeah, you are you are right with that. We did get, we did only get, but I'm talking just expansion, expansion. And I do play Wellspring. I do play Wellspring. I do go play the legendary missions primarily for resources, but I do go play them, and I do enjoy playing them. I I very much enjoy Wellspring. I, I genuinely enjoy playing Wellspring. The fun six man activity. Season of the Risen was good. Uh, Haunted was <laughs> haunted. Um, Plunder was plunder, and then Seraph was fantastic. Seraph was fantastic. But and, and I think the time window of Seraph was perfect too. It was like two months and a couple weeks, I think yeah, it was. Yeah. But but to kind of roll back what you're saying, Forsaken is still the best expansion. I, it's still, yeah, it, I, I think it, Final Shape needs to be Forsaken size. I think Final Shape needs to be Forsaken. But like yeah. but like first place is Forsaken, second place is Witch Queen, third place is the Taken King. My opinion, chat. If I'm talking about all the content in that year of Witch Queen, then I will agree. But if I'm talking straight up expansion for expansion, 40 bucks for $40, I'm taking Taken King over Witch Queen. Uh, back back to the delay thing, guys. I, I just want to circle back real quick just to wrap this up. I too think it's going to still be delayed. If by some miracle, Bungie still pushes this out in February, I'm going to be really concerned. Because mm -hmm. you just laid off a bunch of people. And then not only that, we've heard internal, internal wording that the, the expansion is good not great and to follow life fault you needed to be great and not only that to be the final expansion in this saga you needed to be great we needed to be great or it's going to be like game of thrones man you know nobody talks about those last that last season i mean i i stopped the show i act like it never happened we cannot have that experience and even though the layoffs they suck i actually when i saw that it was getting pushed to june i was like okay Bundy's taking this seriously. And if they squeeze it out in February, I'm gonna I'm gonna wonder like what has changed? What has changed to suddenly make Final Shape great in that time frame with less people? We'll see. All right, let me take a look at everyone wants to know what's going on with the uh Eververse store. We have shaders. Oh. That actually looks pretty good. Don't get that looks hot. Wow. Vision and swing ornaments. Interesting. Oh! 
La Monarch ornament for sale? You guys probably already have this. I, I, I don't have it. I'll take it. A beefy sparrow. A ship. Abbey and Leap ornaments. Oh, no, let, me, let me go spin this. I got to pick this up, guys. There's going to be one on every class, too. These are the shaders as well. Oh, my Lord. Dude, this armor just looks good with everything. Truly everything. All right, hold on. Let me go look at what's on every other class, though. Oh, Caliban's hand. All right, all right. I'm down, dude. I'm down. Let me pick that up real quick. Beautiful. All right, and then for Warlocks, we have a con... Oh, my God. Unless you better pick these up. Controverse hold. I don't use controversial. Hold. What? They're fantastic in PvE. Like vortex grenades. It's like it's like infinite vortex grenades. It's really good. Is it? Is it better than Nazarak Sin? Oh yeah. If you're if you're for meaty targets, for champs and stuff, I love controversial. Hold. Or if you do any type of solo content, that. it's really good. Of course I'm a casual in destiny now, bro. Oh good man. I'll <laughs> I'll help you out and 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 pick up the um uh, I thought Nezrak Sin was better for void builds. I like Nezrak Sin for if it's like trash ads and I'm getting a lot of void kills, I'm able to keep that up at all times. So and when it comes to like thick boy ads, where it, it, you can double proc controverse on the same targets, it's mm. the it's the best. That that's where it's so good is is in what that. Briars, dude. Everybody's all about Team Briars, and don't get me wrong, but it's the same same thing. I think Briars, in my opinion, my opinion, I think it's better for trash ads. I think controverse. Mm controversy clears. Slap that like button like your mama told you right. <laughs>